Hello and welcome. Today we are going to work on mounting block um, project. We are going to make this object from scratch. So let's begin. First thing we need to go to document menu and the workspace units. Make sure to change them inch to millimeter and pound to gram and mass displays is supposed to be two decimal point and click OK. We're going to work on the front view first and we're going to click the sketch and I'm going to click the front side of the cube and then I'm going to start with the line tool I'm going to just make in the lines I will add the dimensions later okay I'm going to use the dimension tool and this part is going to be 50 this part 40 meter 20 millimeter and finally this part is going to be 75 millimeter so the, the sketch turns to black it means it is fully constrained so click the yellow icon and click the extrude choose the sketch and the depth is going to be 125 millimeter extrude click ok and let me check it so the first part is completed now I'm gonna start to make the um, the hole on the top I'm gonna use the circle for that so first thing I'm gonna click the top view I'm going to click this sketch and since I'm working on the top I'm going to click the top of the cube I'm going to use the circle center point circle I'm going to make a circle on the top and let's use the dimension tool the diameter of the circle is 20 millimeter and let's constrain them so the height from that point is 25 millimeter and the length is 20 millimeter and it turns the color turns to black so and sketch click the extrude choose the circle and click the remove instead of blind we're going to change it to through all even though you change the uh, dimensions of the depth or the width of the object this hole always will go through hole complete it click the isometric so we have the here so that's our circle hole that goes all the way that cylinder now we are going to use the chamfer i'm going to click the chamfer and then i'm going to just choose don't choose all of them just choose the top part okay and then instead of equal distance we are going to change it then distance and angle it's going to be five millimeter five millimeter and 45 degrees and click ok that's completed now we are going to work again on the top view I'm going to click the top I'm going to click the sketch and I'm going to click the top view and as you can see, each time when I click the sketch, we have the different sketches. So I'm working on the sketch 3 now. I'm going to use corner rectangle. I'm going to start from the corner of here. Right. And let's make a rectangle. Then I'm going to dimension it. This side is going to be 75 millimeter. And the top length is supposed to be 20 millimeter. Twenty millimeter. And click finish. And we are gonna extrude this rectangle. We're gonna remove it. So we're gonna click the extrude. We're gonna click the remove. And the distance is going to be 12.5 millimeters 12.5 millimeters 
Let me click on OK. And the isometric view, right, it is moved. Now this corner, we are going to use the fillet for this corner. So I'm going to click the fillet. I'm going to click the right mouse and I'm going to rotate it around it. And just zoom and choose the corner. It's going to be 12.5. 12.5 millimeters. Okay, okay. Right, this part also is completed. So what is left? So we're gonna work on now on the top view again, and we are gonna make a shape that's going to be a little bit different. So I'm gonna click the top view. I'm gonna click the sketch. I'm gonna click the top. So just move our object and a little bit zoom. I'm gonna start with line tool and I'm gonna just line it here. Right here and here. Okay, so I'm gonna just zoom in. The first thing I want, I'm gonna click the escape tool. I'm gonna use some geometric constraints. So first one is the constant. So I'm going to click the, this line. I want them to coincident with this one. I thought it was coincident, but it's not. So when I click, now, boom, that's coincident. I want these two lines equal each other. So I'm going to click here and this line. Now they are equal. And then I'm going to use tangent arc. And when I click the here, start in and right, I have the arc now. And uh, on the dimensions, it says the radius of this arc is 12.5, 12.5 millimeter. And the height the starting point of this arc is 15 millimeter. I'm gonna click the escape. Now I make this object, but I need to put one more dimension so I cannot move this object around it. Okay, so I'm gonna use something different now. I can put the dimension from the top to uh, here, that's the one way, but instead I want them always um, center. So to be able to do that, I'm going to click the line tool and I'm going to click the construction and I need to find the center of this. Okay. Okay, when you find the center, the um, yellow square comes out. I just click from the center and I'm just drawing a parallel line to here. And then again, I'm going to use some constraint. I'm going to use the coincident. And I want this line coincident with this. All right. And I want the center of this arc coincident with this. All right, as you can see, the color turns to black, so it means fully constrained. And I'm gonna use now and sketch, and I'm gonna extrude. I'm gonna choose this shape that I made it, and then instead of blind, this time I'm gonna change it to up to vertex, and we need to choose the remove. And so up the vertex to mid connector. So we need to choose, we need to click this part and then I'm gonna click the just isometric. And I want them to go always to touch to this edge. Even though if I change the uh, feature, I want them always to touch in this edge. So therefore I need to choose this edge. Boom. And when I click the and it is completed. So the last part, we're going to fill it to these edges. So I'm going to click the 
fill it. I'm going to choose the corners. That's the first one. That's the second. This is the third. And I'm going to move around and choose the last corner. That's the fourth. And the radius of the fillet is going to be 12.5. 12.5 12 millimeter. All right. It is, I believe, completed. And I clicked isometric view. Okay, it seems it is completed. Now I'm gonna assign the material. So I'm gonna click the part, left click, and the, it choose all the part and the right click. I'm gonna click the assign material. And I'm gonna choose the instead of none. I'm gonna choose the carbon steel. And click OK. It is completed. So when we check it, that's the expected, and this is the completed one. And when you click the display mass properties, and when you click the part one, and if you see the mass of the object is 28.02.86 gram, and the shape is like that, it means it is correct. Have a wonderful day.